Welcome one, welcome all, and welcome to today's episode of Nightmare Fuel. We'll be taking a trip back in time to 1983 to the release of Something Wicked This Way Comes, a fantasy movie produced by Disney, and let me ask Disney, what were you on? Despite it being expensive to make this movie in the first place, and then a disagreement happening between the director and the writer resulting in over $5 million spent in reshoots and rescoring, the film astonishingly lost nearly $12 million at the box office. Ouch Disney. Nightmare fuel for your bank accounts. The novel that this film was based from was rated safe for anybody over the age of 7. And this film was a PG, with the rating being so because of things like Boy gets guillotined in one scene, we see a dead corpse. The movie was commonly likened to The Wizard of Oz, and surprise surprise, it's absolutely nothing like it whatsoever. This focuses on ageing and the constant inescapable approach of death. If you call that light-hearted and whimsical, I'm leaving this earth forever. The subject matter in this is way too adult. So. The film starts off with a man going door to door selling lightning rods, as he says there's a storm coming which sets up the path for further sinister happenings. He meets our main characters, Will Halloway and Jim Nightshade, a pair of best friends that are a little bit naughty, so they're in detention for whispering. What? You, you got detention for whispering? Anyway, the storm would seem to be a carnival, led by the comic book-esque villain Mr. Dark. Yep. There's a guy in this called Mr. Fucking Dark. He might as well be called Sir Death or Mr. Murderface. But the guy is played by none other than the incredible Sir Jonathan Price. Known to me as the governor from Pirates of the Caribbean, he is in about 412,000 different movies, so you probably will recognise him from something. His acting in this? Absolutely phenomenal. He is a sinister, cold, persuasive, evil entity. Now when the carnival does arrive, these kids leave their house in the middle of the night to go and search for it. I don't care what year it was, bro, you're 12. Surely you're afraid of the dark a bit. His carnival, a seemingly slightly rundown show with great attractions that just seem to drag people in for no reason, from the fortune tellers to the hall of mirrors that causes hallucinations, appearing to the onlookers as the deepest, most desperate desires of their hearts. Ed, you fucking dickhead, don't go in there. Your leg's not gonna come back and... Ah, uh, you're dead. Cool. The two kids go to the carnival during the day and they go to that one ride that says out of order. This is where we first meet Mr. Dark and um, Madness. The ferris wheel they tried to jump on actually makes whoever rides it younger. They get caught and find out that Mr. Dark and his carnival of mysteries are trying to use the power of the oncoming lightning storm to become all powerful. When the boys Jim and Will find out this information, Mr. Dark becomes really suspicious, setting up a massive search party for them disguised as a parade through the streets of the city. Will's dad finds out that his father has previously fought the carnival and it comes back to feed on people's fear and power every few years. Jim, Will and his dad eventually kill Mr. Dark by luring him to his carousel and letting lightning hit it, which murders Mr. Dark and sucks the entire carnival away from the face of the earth. The way the evil characters are introduced have Nightmare written all over them, especially Robert, the reverse-aged Mr. Cougar, who is Mr. Dark's assistant. Look at his facial expressions here, and the music. Foley, that prick of a teacher who put the kids in detention for whispering, looks in a mirror. Suddenly, she becomes beautiful and young once again, only to be greeted by a complete and total loss of eyesight. Oh. And Mr. Holloway sees a random coffin with a frozen corpse inside. I don't really know what's happening here, but it looks a bit mad. Blue skull, glowing green eyes. What else is there? Oh, I don't know. The spiders. The evil spirit woman that turns around out of nowhere. The child's guillotine head. And the spiders. I particularly liked Mr. Dark's offer to Charles when he was ripping the pages away signifying his age is absolutely horrifying. Denying him the chance to become young again with every single second because he won't give up the boys. Adding the constant high pitched score with droning extended noise, it feels like it's never going to end. Pushing a consistently eerie atmosphere to you and tensing you up the entire movie. Solid nightmare fuel here lads. 
beginning as a lovely little coming of age movie and swiftly turning into the carnival cock from nowhere. Travelling carnivals should definitely be banned. Well that's all the dreams I want for the month. I hope you get your dose of nightmare fuel. Let me know your childhood memories of this film and or novel in the comments below. Yeah.